What's going on, y'all? My name is Rodney, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so this YouTube channel is going to be primarily a dreadlock channel, but it's also going to involve hair and hair care products and hair upkeep, and generally just how I upkeep my style and how I uh, take care of my hair. So yeah, I guess the first order of business, and probably why you clicked on the video, is I'm going to explain to you how you can get your own dreadlock started. Now I'm about a week a week i wish i'm about a year into my dreadlock journey and uh yeah so it's been a long time and it's been like a pretty long honestly long process it's involved like a lot of patience and a lot of things that like honestly kind of suck but uh yeah so let's get started the first thing that you want to do when starting your dreadlock journey is preferably grow out your hair i want to recommend starting it when your hair is like only an inch or two because then if you do that you're gonna have like little like little caterpillars if you do that you're gonna have like little caterpillars and I don't really think that's like visually appealing so I'd recommend letting your hair grow for a little bit you know get that look like a uh, pooped out style and then locking your hair that's personally what I did and I'm actually gonna put up some pictures on the screen now so you can see how my hair looked before I started my dreadlock journey Personally, was growing out my hair. I want to say hmm, probably four or five months, like seriously, before I started my dreadlock journey. So I grew it out for four or five months. It was like pretty uh, nappy. I had like the curls on top with the haircut on the side, which is why it's like how it is now. So I had that going on, and then um, from that point, then I went to um, somebody that actually does hair a lot fishing to a optician to go and get my hair locked. So basically what that process involved was, so I went to the person and my hair was very like, uh, it was very, how do you say this? Very tangled, essentially. So obviously like, you can start your, your dreadlocks with like tangled hair, but it's not ideal just because then it won't be even. You want your sections to be even and you want it to like, look kind of uniform, especially when you're first starting out. So what he did was he basically detangled my hair and once he finished detangling my hair then he went to go and retwisted it not retwisted but twisted for the first time obviously let's go and twist it for the first time and basically my hair locked from there so what he did was he washed my hair put the detangler in it i believe he was washing my hair washing my hair and it was weird because my hair had been like all like tangled and like semi-locked semi-formed locks i guess i, was, I had like natural locks not really locks but they were starting to form into natural locks in the beginning so it's kind of weird seeing feeling how uh, soft my hair was and shit like that so from that point onwards yeah so then from that point onwards then we went in i believe he dried my hair or no maybe he didn't dry my hair Bro, what he did essentially, but I think he dried my hair and then he started retwisting it. He got some jelly, he was just going through and retwisting it and making the parts and whatnot. So he was doing that. It takes a long time to start the dreadlock uh, process. So he's doing that, and then I went in the dryer for a little bit. And when I came out, my hair was like very, like, it wasn't very soft, it was actually very like, hard. I think it was just because of my hair texture. I forgot to mention, the way he started my dreadlocks was through two strand twists. He told me that that was the fastest and the most effective way for my hair type uh, to start my journey. If you actually look at my hair now, I just washed it recently. If you look at it now, you can start dreadlocks from uh, two strand twists because as you see, it's like pretty mad and you can't even tell that it's twisted. It's only been a year since I've been in my journey. So yeah. So he started my hair with two strands. So he twisted them up, and at first they're gonna appear like they're just braided. So it's gonna look like braided hair. So don't be alarmed, it's not actually braided. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, it's also it's braided, it's like finger clothes. Finger twist. You know what I'm trying to say. But essentially it's like braided together, so it's gonna look like it's braided for a, like a very long time. Especially if you don't like wash your hair. Oh, another thing. So for about the first say anywhere from four to eight weeks you're not supposed to get water in your hair or touch your hair with water make sure it doesn't get wet I and mean, you cannot wash your hair now this kind of sucks just because you know obviously not being able to wash your hair is like, terrible and over time like your hair will get really itchy what he actually did for me is 
you got me some argan oil. This is actually all gone right now. You can see that there's like a little bit left in. But I use argan oil on my hair just to keep my hair like uh, moisturized. Also use this spray, this uh, spray by Paul Michelle. This fast drying spray just to also keep it moisturized and also help my hair lock a little bit quicker. Just because the moisture, moisture is actually how your hair, um, moisture is how the dreadlocks are gonna like lock together. Cause essentially when your hair gets wet, it stretches out. So it's like, it's most stretchiest when it's wet. So then like, if your hair is like formed in a twist and it like stretches, and then when it dries, it comes back together. It's gonna come back together a little bit more clumped. So that's the that's the look you want. What dreadlocks are is they're just like clumped up hair together. So essentially, I spray that hair and I spray the oil in. And I'd say for the first two weeks, it was like completely fine, like um, no issues, no problems. It was like really itchy. But I'd say after like week three or so, my hair started getting super duper itchy and super duper uncomfortable. I was also like uh, very like physically active during that time. So I was sweating and then my hair was drying and it was just very gross to be completely honest with you. So that is the beginning, like little, like not being able to wash a hair tidbit, which kind of sucks. But then after that point, it was actually not that bad. When I slept, my hair was like, uh, my hair was low enough or I guess not long enough for me to like really wear a bonnet. What I found out in hindsight is I should have worn a bonnet while I went to start my dreadlocks, but I didn't. Instead, I, I just wrapped it up with a durag. That was a mistake because friction also helps the hair clump up together and helps your, your dreadlocks lock. So that without that friction, I was essentially slowing my progress down because my hair was just like very together and it wasn't able to like, like rub against each other like it would be able to do in a bonnet. So I guess another pro tip is just to make sure that you have a bonnet, make sure you have a shower cap. So just buy yourself a shower cap. I have three, let me go and show you. I have this normal ass black bonnet. Wow, it's not a bonnet. I have this normal ass black shower cap. Then I have like a clear one. Boop, I have a clear one and then I have a, a purple one as well. So make sure you get one of those because if you get your hair wet, it's just clipped. You don't have to start over again. That shit's gonna suck. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so then you put on the shower cap, you don't put on the shower cap, but the things that you're gonna need are a shower cap, you're gonna need a bonnet, and you're gonna need those sprays. So some type of oil, really you don't need the, you don't need the Paul Michelle spray, but the oil definitely helps. You definitely need the oil to keep your hair like moisturized. I have pretty dry skin to, not dry skin, damn, shade. I have pretty dry hair to begin with, but definitely get some type of oil just to keep your hair moisturized. Um, so from that, Anyways, so yeah, get some oil, get the spray, get yourself a good shampoo. I use this shampoo, it's for dry hair. It's called Bio Lace Matrix. It's not like natural or anything like that. But this is just the shampoo you recommended to me. So that's why I use it. What I don't like about the shampoo is sometimes it leaves, it's very hard to wash out of the hair. So I have, very, I have 4C hair, so it's very like clumped together and hard to like get out. So sometimes it's very annoying using this shampoo because it's hard to wash out. But yeah, from there, then you're gonna go into your first wash. First wash, very, very stressful. I'd recommend just going back to the place that you want to go and start your dreadlocks to get your first wash. I wouldn't recommend starting it by yourself just because you might fuck your shit up. Um, the road we're going on outside. Woo! Anyways, I wouldn't recommend going to, uh, that I wouldn't recommend washing it yourself first. If you are going to wash it yourself, make sure you're very, 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 you can be rough on the roots, but delicate, um, like on the actual hair, hair strands themselves, because you don't want them to like separate. I actually find a dreadlock. I don't know if I can, but have like, essentially what it's gonna look like, you don't want it to like untwist. So you want to be very, 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 very delicate. Make sure you can like really scrub the roots and stuff. So you want to be rough, like I said again, rough on the roots and then just uh, very delicate, just kind of like this on the actual hair itself. And then you want to make sure it's fully dried. Very, very important thing is you want to make sure your dry locks are always fully dried when you finish washing them. Because if they're not fully dry, then like uh, mold and shit can get in your dreadlocks and you don't want that, that's not cute. So make sure it's fully dried whenever you finish washing your hair or anything like that. Yeah, so that'll be the first wash. Um, most likely, you're gonna want to retwist. Not most likely, you should retwist after the first wash. Just 
just because otherwise if you don't retwist your shit is like gonna like uh fall apart essentially i was getting my my hair retwisted pretty often um when i first started my locks just because i wanted them to really like solidify i didn't start with a comb coil i started with two twists two strand twists so then it's like you have to make sure you're really on it or else it's gonna like just fall apart so i did that i uh, did my first wash and very eventually my hair started to bud it was kind of like a very smooth process for me at least the budding wasn't like very obvious it wasn't very like like bunched up it was kind of just the roots started to bud a little bit and then over time it eventually after like every wash and every wash it got a little bit more and more matted after this last wash my jet locks were basically it's very hard to tell that I even started with two strand twists so yeah that's essentially how you start your dreadlock journey so it's a quick little recap you want to go to a loctician if you so you want to grow out your hair let your hair grow for a little bit just rock that style it's probably cuter anyways cuter probably look better anyways so just rock that style for a little bit and then once you grow out your hair then you want to go to a loctician or somebody that actually knows how to start your dreadlocks make sure you get them started well you don't want to like you can try to do it yourself and you might be like nice with it i don't know but most likely you're watching this video because you want some type of tips or some type of advice so what i'd recommend is going to somebody that knows how to do it make sure they start your shit off right and then you have like a clean nice little start for your dreadlock journey so make sure you start it off right get yourself a bonnet and get yourself a shower cap when you're in the shower don't get your hair wet for the next like four or eight weeks make sure you have your shit on you make sure you have your shower cap on so your, your, your hair is dry and stuff Get out the shower, make sure your shit doesn't get wet, make sure the, the rain doesn't touch it, don't go swimming, don't do anything stupid like that. And then eventually, when you go to sleep at night, make sure to wear a bonnet. You can tie it up in a do-rag, but I recommend a bonnet. I did do-rag, it was fine for me. But in hindsight, I think my locks would have locked up a little bit quicker if I just used a bonnet. Make sure every day you have some type of oil, some, some type of moisturizing spray, not, not water-based, or it can be water-based, but make sure it's like, actually no, scratch that. Make sure it's just an oil-based, oil-based, some type of spray. Just put it in your hair. That way it's like moisturized and your scalp is giant. You don't have like super duper bad dandruff. Like I said before, don't wash it for the next four to eight weeks. And then after that point, you should be ready for your first wash. Very big deal. If you're not comfortable washing your hair yourself for your first wash, make sure to go back to your loctician. Most likely they'll wash your hair and then retwist it and dry it. So then you won't even have to worry about that. And then from there, you should go into the budding process. And then from the budding process, eventually your hair will lock. Make sure to still be careful. Wear your bonnet. Don't get your hair wet. You should be washing your hair, I'd say, maybe once every two weeks or so. But these are all things I'll cover in, like, next videos. Next videos and videos in the future. So make sure to stay tuned. And I don't know what my outro is going to be. So I'm going to stop talking fast. I need to cook bait with this Harvard shirt. So this is Harvard. I go here. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Almost forgot, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe.